What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's Pretty Tater here and in today's video I'm going to be showing y'all how to make an intro on your iPhone using free apps only. So the intro I'm going to be showing you how to make is this intro right here. Let's play the clip. <laughs> look I'm gonna show y'all how to make this intro so if you want to know how to make this intro keep watching this video so let's get right into this video so before we get right into the intro making part what I'm gonna do is I like to make my intros in steps so that it can be quicker and easier and I also want to say before we get into the actual video I do make graphics and intros outros thumbnails banners etc you can find more information in the description box below the prices and everything is in the description box below if you want one you can comment down below or DM me on Instagram at pretty tater or you can just look at the description box and follow the steps in the description box so if you do not feel like watching this entire video on how to make it or if you just don't feel like making the intro you can buy one and purchase one from me they are not for free so please do not ask me for a free intro now let's get to the video so I'm about to show y'all everything that you're gonna need for this intro I'm pretty sure you saw it but I'm gonna show you how to get this everything is free so you do not have to worry about purchasing anything so let me screen record all right so what you see right now is basically everything that you're gonna need for this intro so let me go to the actual intro and I'm gonna show y'all exactly what you're gonna need so I also did like a little album with everything that you're gonna need just so it can kind of be easier for y'all so in this scene you see that I have a video of myself in the background do not worry about how it is split I'm gonna show you how to do that so I have a video of myself all you need is like a lot of videos of yourself or pictures of yourself as the background because that's what I like to work on first. So find you a lot of background pictures that you're going to use or that you want to use. It could be pictures or videos. It does not matter. But I think I use like seven videos. So in this one, it is one. And that one, I have another one. That one, I have another one. And in this scene, I actually have three more videos. So all together, that makes seven videos. So I have seven videos of myself as the background. So you're going to need seven videos of yourself as the background. Or you can use the same videos. It does not matter. But if you want yours exactly like mine, I use seven videos for my background. So for the next pieces you're going to need is an iPhone PNG. And you're also going to need two pictures of yourself standing up. Um, I wouldn't recommend using a selfie picture because that wouldn't look right kind of coming in. As you can see, I have like a picture of myself that is cut out on this scene and on this scene I also have a picture of me cut out so it makes sense if you have a picture of you cut out so I use two pictures of me cut out so these are the two pictures that I used I use this one and I also use this one and it turned into this right here I'm going to show you how to cut it out so do not worry about that um since I like to do my stuff in sets I'm gonna show you how to cut it out now so that it can be easier so the very first app you're going to need is Pixar so I had to download Pixar back because I had deleted it for some storage so let me get it back right quick so you're going to go inside of Pixar skip all of that but so once you enter Pixar you want to click on the plus sign and what you're gonna do is scroll all the way down to where you see color backgrounds the very first one that looks like a grid you're gonna click on that because that is a transparent background so you're gonna click on that and we're gonna fly over to where it says add photo and you're gonna insert the photo that I was telling you that you were gonna need so let me go find that right quick that is also the other reason why I said you're gonna need an album like just create an album of everything that you're gonna need so that it could be easy for you to insert all of this stuff inside of the intro so I'm gonna just go to my album to make it easier and I named the album intro so here it is and I'm about to show you how to cut the picture out so I'm not gonna show you how to cut both out cuz I mean I it's, it's literally the same way so what you're gonna do is insert the picture click on add and right there you're gonna see where it says cut out we're gonna click on cut out and I click on let's click on X and then I'm gonna click on close so that it can highlight my clothes for me cuz I feel like that's easier than pressing person cuz person is it's not what's up so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on restore so it could bring up the little size thing and I'm gonna turn this all the way up and then I'm gonna zoom into my body and I'm gonna highlight myself and make it perfect the reason I say make it perfect is because this is going to be on your intro so all I'm doing is just highlighting my body and I'm also going to do the same for the second picture but I don't have to do it because it's already I already did it but for you guys you are going to have to do it for both pictures so we're just going to highlight and this is kind of easy to do it's not really hard it's easy for me because I've been doing intros and I also make intros and stuff like that 
so it is kind of easy for me but all you're doing is just highlighting yourself you do not want any background pieces showing because i feel like that's that's ugly that's tacky so it's better if you just be perfect with it and just highlight it so i'm going to color over my ear highlight over my hair and stuff like that And it's okay if you mess up, you can always click the back arrow or you can click on erase and erase it. So when it gets to my fingers, I turn down the size and I kind of highlight it so that it can be the right size for my fingers. If this is your first time, it is okay. You will Practice makes perfect, so if you will get better at times if you're learning how to do this stuff. So I'm also going to highlight my hand. You want to make sure that you get everything. And how to know if you got everything, you just click on preview and it shows you what you have so far. And all you have to do is zoom in to see what needs to be deleted. So I click on erase and I erase like the little background because I don't need that on myself. So it is important to delete those little white crevice things. I don't even know what that is. That's just a background. So we're just going to delete that because you don't want that to show on your intro. So all I'm doing is just erasing myself, which is really easy. And if you mess up, you can always either click the back arrow or you can fix it by clicking restore or erase. It doesn't even matter. So this is literally all I do. And boom, so it looks perfect to me. Up for this little piece right here. So I'm gonna turn down my size and I'm gonna highlight this. Not highlight it, but delete it. Erase it or whatever. And for my finger, we gonna delete that because I'm pretty sure, I'm glad I seen this because this looks kind of weird. There we go. So now it looks perfect to me. So what you're going to do now, once it looks all good to you, you're going to click on save. And I didn't add no type of effects to it. Make sure you bring it up as high as it can, like about right here. Because if you have it small, it's going to show small on your intro and you don't want that. So now you're going to click on the little save button at the top. And then it saves so that is how you cut out yourself so make sure you cut out two pictures of yourself so that you can have two pictures so I just cut out two pictures of me standing up and that is about it so now all we need now is for me to show you how to get the iPhone PNG so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your Instagram and you're gonna take a screenshot of your profile as you can see I took a little decent picture of my profile which is that right there and you're going to also do the same for your twitter or snapchat or whatever but for my snapchat i just added a video of myself so make sure you have some videos saved up because i did add a video to myself or whatever i'm gonna show y'all how to do all of that when we start making the intro but i'm gonna show you how to do the photos in the iphone because that is easier than adding a video to the iphone if that makes sense so what we're going to do is we're going to go back inside of pixar and i'm gonna click on the picture and click on the x so that it can get rid of it and what i'm going to do is click on sticker go to search and i'm going to search up a iphone png because that is what i used and i'm going to click on the iphone png that has the little red line over it so i'm gonna click on it and what I'm going to do is go to effects and I went over to colors and then where it says hue, H-U-E, you're going to click on that. And I used the blue one because I felt like the blue one was kind of cute for my intro. So you can make it any color you want it to be, but I wanted mine to be kind of like dark blue. So then I'm going to click on apply and I'm going to go to add photo and I'm going to insert my Instagram. And we're going to move this up. And then I'm going to click on, on the left side of the word apply, you're going to see like these little building block looking things. They look like building blocks to me. You're going to click on it and you're going to click on move down so that the Instagram thing could be underneath the photo. So what I'm going to do now is click on the iPhone PNG and I'm going to bring it down some because we're about to add like something to this. So bring it down some and also do the same for the Instagram. We're going to bring it down some. I should have did this first like that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on apply and we're gonna scroll over to where it says tools which is the very second one you're gonna click on tools and right where it says perspective we're gonna click on that and we're gonna slide this all ooh, we ain't gonna slide it all the way over but about right here to where it fits inside of the grid and you will see that the phone is kind of tilted I just liked it that because it kind of looked cute to me so we're just gonna turn it like that and then we're gonna click on apply and now we have like this little side way phone thing and you're gonna click on save all right so now we're going to 
click the back arrow click don't save or you can save it if you want to and let me go all the way back so that we can be on the same page click on the plus sign again we're going to scroll all the way down to the little transparent background that i was telling you about in the beginning and what we're going to do is we're going to go to sticker again iphone png click on the red one again bring this down some actually i don't think i added like a little effect or added the little side thing to the twitter one so i'm not gonna do it for this one now we're gonna change this again we're gonna go to effects go to hue make it dark blue and before we do anything let's save this iphone do not click on apply we're just gonna save it at the top so that we can have it for when we insert it to the video because we are gonna need an iphone png as well so let's just have that so now let's add the twitter or whatever you have like if you have Facebook or snapchat whatever screenshot that you have you can use that and we're just gonna click on the building blocks click on move down and we can just save this because I don't think I added like a little yeah for this I didn't add no type of sideway thing to this one as you can see so now that we have that out the way we are done using Pixar I believe so now we're going to I'm gonna show y'all how to get the subscribe button and also how to get the little follow button so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here to my screen record and you can copy the name of this screen record it is called 2021 trending green screen subscribe button templates free download link and this has like six views on it so it's very low but it also has like this little nice subscribe button that I use and this is the exact one that I use so make sure when you go into YouTube you search that up and you screen record it but since I'm screen recording already it don't make no sense for me to stop just to screen record this when I already have a screen record on it so now for the follow button this is the one that I use you can also copy the um, title of this one as well if you want the same follow button as me the only difference that I did we're gonna click on edit we're gonna click on the crop button and we're gonna crop this like this we're gonna move this up bring this down and we're gonna move it over the little circle because I didn't want that circle on there and right on the right side of where it says cancel we're gonna click on that it's like this little video icon we're gonna click on it and this is how you crop the video not crop it but trim it so about right there and then we're gonna go from the ending and we're gonna drag the ending to where this go down and then we're gonna click on done and save video so now this is how I get my little green screen for my follow button and we're going to do the same thing for the green screen for the subscribe button. So we're going to click on actually no we're not because I actually liked it this green screen right here so that's why I didn't really trim it or anything because I could use both of them if I want to so we don't have to worry about that we, we gonna get into that okay. So now what we need now is our YouTube name we're going to need the snapchat the Twitter and stuff like that so now that we have the subscribe button we have the videos of ourselves we have the iPhone PNGs and stuff like that all we need now is from Fonto so we're gonna need the app Fonto and we're also gonna need Pixar too so let's go back inside of Pixar I know I said we wasn't gonna need that but don't don't listen to me discard all of that because we already have all of that saved let's start from the beginning because I like to go where y'all go so y'all won't be confused click on the plus sign scroll all the way down to the transparent background and we're going to click on next click on that X and then we're going to click on photos so that that transparent background could be saved to our photos yes we're going to need that to for Fonto so let's go inside of Fonto now and you're going to click on the camera you're going to click on photo albums click on all access to all photos and we're going to click what we just inserted from Pixar and we're going to click on done so now what we're going to do is click on anywhere on this screen and you will see where it says add text. You're going to click on it. We're going to put in all lower cases because mine's was kind of like in lowercase and it is also an in cursive font. So I'm going to put pretty. Then I'm going to go to font and I'm going to go over to my fonts and I don't have any fonts. So I'm going to show you how I get because I had to download that back to y'all. So it deleted everything. I'm going to show you how I get this in cursive font right here so what I'm gonna do is go inside of Safari and we're gonna search up dafont.com what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the search bar and we're gonna search up Britney signature because that is the font that I use for the Twitter the snapchat and the YouTube name so what I'm gonna go to is right here you will see where it says download you're gonna click on download and you're gonna click on download again and at the top right you will see an arrow that's downward you want to click on that click on the Britney signature and you're also going to need the files app y'all deleted everything that I needed so my bad 
I came unprepared in this video but you're gonna need the files app in order to get this so let's open my files app again and we're gonna search up Brittany signature and since I already had this downloaded already as you can see I have it four times because I downloaded it four times for all of the other intro videos I showed y'all how to do you're gonna click on the share button and we're gonna go to Funto you will see that it says install you want to click on install and click on install again and now that we now we have the Britney signature font so click anywhere on the screen again we're gonna click on add text and we're gonna do pretty click on font go to my fonts and click on Britney signature and done and we're gonna zoom this up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this I did my name kind of split in half even though my name is full and it's not split in half I decided to do a split in half because I liked it it kind of split in half so you can do your split in half as well or you can do it fully without it combined together but I kind of liked it mine like this and then I'm gonna go back in and put the ending of my YouTube name and I'm gonna save this as again again make sure you save image as PNG because if you click save image you will have like a white background and you don't want that or a black background you don't want that you just want it to show as a PNG so make sure you click save image as PNG so now we're gonna do we're gonna go back to text and we're gonna do Twitter we're gonna go to style and I'm gonna go over to blue or if you have for Instagram I didn't do one for Instagram because you could see that that's Instagram before the others you couldn't see if it was Twitter or snapchat so if you have like Facebook or TikTok or whatever you don't have to do Twitter if you don't have a Twitter you can do anything else that you want to do but I'm just showing you how I made mine so I went to Twitter and then I clicked on one of these blue I don't even remember which blue I use so I'm gonna just stick with this one and I'm gonna save it as PNG I'm gonna also do the same thing for snapchat so snapchat and make sure that it is in all lowercase instead of uppercase because I didn't really like the uppercase we're gonna bring this down some because it doesn't fit apparently we're gonna go to style and we're gonna go over to the yellow ones this one is perfect and we're gonna save image as PNG and now we literally have everything that we need so let's see what else we are missing before we get started on this intro so I have pretty Tata I have that iPhone PNG with my Instagram I have the picture of me I have the snapchat I'm gonna show you how I get my snapchat name at the bottom that is what we use for the app okay so we literally have everything that we need so now you're gonna need photo grid so that we can make the videos a little background so we're gonna go inside of photo grid and I'm gonna show you how I made my background we're gonna go to grid allow all access to all photos and let me go to my album so it can be easier for me what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on whichever video you want for the first scene and these I don't even know which one of these videos I used because I have a lot of videos of me with the high puff in that same shirt so we're gonna click on the video twice we're gonna click on next we're gonna click on got it what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to border and we're gonna bring both of these back so that the white border could go away I didn't want that we're gonna click on the check sign and we're also going to go to where it says ratio you click on ratio and then you're gonna click on 16-9 whatever that say you you know what I'm talking about it says 16 and 9 we're gonna click on that so that it can be the YouTube size and we're gonna click on the check you're also gonna click on photo grid and you're gonna click on the X to get rid of that watermark and we're gonna click on X again and it's gone so now we're gonna fix the video up to our liking and like that is how I liked in my video and we're gonna click on save and save again do not pay attention to how long the video is because we will get to all of that when we go inside of the other app and we're gonna do this how many times because I have I have my YouTube name background I have my Instagram I have my Twitter snapchat and then the ending for the next one I use this one and I clicked on it twice you're gonna click on photo grid make sure you delete that watermark or you're gonna have a watermark on your intro and I know y'all don't want that did I save it I don't even think I saved it let me see no I did not save it so make sure you save it all right so we have our second scene and now for the third scene I had this video right here click on photo grid delete the watermark click on the check and make sure you move it to where you like it so like about right here 
and then we're gonna click on save save again like I said do not pay attention to how long the video is inside of photo grid because we will trim all of that when we get inside of CapCut and the other app that we're gonna use so for the next scene I used three videos as my background and there were three different videos you can use the same videos if you want to I just wanted mine to be kind of different I don't know so I use this one, then I use this one, and then I use this one. Like I said, you can use the same video three times if you want to. It does not matter. You click on photo grid, click on the X, check, and then we're going to click on save and save again. And now for the last scene, and then we literally putting this together. Because this is way quicker and faster than any other time. So now for the last scene, I used this video and I did it twice. Get rid of that watermark. And then we're going to click on save and save again. And now we are done with the backgrounds and now we can put this baby together. So now let's go inside of CapCut. You're going to go inside of CapCut. You're going to click on new project and we're going to insert all of these in order. So this is the first scene. This is the second one. This is the third one, fourth and fifth one. Make sure it is all in order. So now it is time for us to trim the video. You're going to click on the video and you will see that mine is 6.0 seconds. So we're going to turn every scene to 3.0 seconds. So every scene should be 3.0 seconds. And I'm going to crop this to like right here. I'm going to trim that. Okay, so we're going to drag this all the way to 3 seconds. Boom. And then for this one, 3 seconds. and three seconds so this all should be 15 seconds in total every scene is three seconds so now I'm gonna add like the little background effects or whatever what I do is I went to overlay I went to add overlay and I went over to where it says stock videos I'm gonna go to stock videos and I'm gonna scroll down to the black background we're gonna click on that click on add and I'm gonna zoom this all the way over the video and then down here you want to drag this to where the video ends you will feel a vibration to know where the video ends and then I'm going to click on it and go over to opacity and I'm going to turn the opacity to 50 or 52. All right, because I want to like that kind of dark effect to my intro and I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on effects. I'm going to go over to retro. I don't know why I just shut off in my face like that. And I'm going to go to black noise because black noise is the one that I use. I'm going to click on the check sign and I'm going to make sure that this is dragged the right way. We're going to drag this all the way to the ending of the intro. And then I'm going to click on add effect again and I'm going to go over to where it says frame. And I went to the camcorder 2. That is the name of the frame that I used. Now that now we have the video. I'm going to scroll this all the way over and boom we have our background all set and now it is time to put everything together so we're going to click on the save button and we're going to let this save or export whatever you want to call it so now we're going to go inside of Filmora Go and this is the app that we use to put everything together now before we get into anything I do want to say I do not know how to get rid of the watermark in Filmora Go for some reason it is free to me I didn't have to remove anything I just don't have a watermark so I don't know how to get rid of it for anyone who keeps asking me I don't know how so when you go inside of Filmora Go you want to click on new project and we're going to click on the 14 second or 15 second video that we had from CapCut which is this right here which is 15 seconds I don't know why it says 14 and what we're gonna do is we're gonna click picture in picture go over to photo and we're gonna start with the pretty in the Tata okay that's the transparent one go to this one and we're gonna zoom this up it's about right here and then we're gonna go to picture in picture again click on add go over to photo and we're gonna go to the Tata Make sure that they match. All right, this is fine. This is actually cute. So what I'm gonna do, before we get into anything else, we have to split these videos up in three seconds so that we can add our own transition to it. 
So right where the video, the background, pay attention to the background, right where the background transferred to the next background. So like right here, we're gonna tap on it and we're gonna click on split and make sure that it says three seconds. If it doesn't say three seconds, then you're doing something completely wrong. So we're gonna move over to where the next background shows. All right, by right here, we're gonna split it, three seconds. Do the same for this one, three seconds. And this one, three seconds. So all of them say three seconds, we split it completely perfect. So we're gonna add our own transition to this. So we're gonna click on the little minus sign that's kind of standing like this, whatever that is. And we're gonna go over to where it says zoom. I like to use the zoom animations or transitions because I like the, the zoom ones. So that's the ones we're gonna use. And for this one, I'm gonna use the first one. And then we're gonna go to the second scene, go to zoom. And we're gonna just go with whichever one you are comfortable with using. So let's go to the next one, go to zoom. You can use the motion one as well. I just like the zoom one because it's better. I'm gonna go to the second one. No, that one's not really good. All right, so I'm gonna use the fourth one for that one. And for the last one, we can go for something else. All right, that's perfect. So we have all of the transitions that we wanna use. Now let's get back into this, adding the pretty tatter stuff. So we're gonna click on the second scene. So click on the second video. And we're gonna click on the pretty, we're gonna click on split, we're gonna click on the tater, and we're gonna click on split. Now the ones after, the one that is selected, we're gonna delete it. So delete the ones after that so that it can be perfect. So for the pretty, we're gonna click on pretty, we're gonna go over to motion, go to swing, and I'm gonna click on the fourth one. Go to tater, go to motion, click on swing, and we're gonna go to the third one. There we go, and that's the motions that I used for mine. So now for the second scene, we're gonna click on picture in picture, click on add, go to photo, and we're gonna insert the Instagram iPhone PNG that we made inside of Pixar. We're gonna zoom this up. And you can kind of turn it sideways to your liking, it doesn't matter. So like right there. We're gonna click on picture in picture again, click on add. Go over to photo and we're gonna insert the picture that we cut out inside of Pixar. And I didn't add no type of Instagram thing to this because you can clearly see that this is Instagram, that this is the Instagram scene. So I didn't have to add like, this is my Instagram pretty tater da 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 because you can see that that's what that is. So we're gonna go over to the third scene. So click on the third video, then click on our cutout picture Click on it and we're gonna click on split and split and then we're gonna delete the ones after that. And make sure you bring this upward so that it can be above us. What we're gonna do is for the iPhone PNG, we're gonna go over to motion. We're gonna go to swing and we're gonna click on the second one so that it can go up. Now we're gonna click on the picture of ourselves. Go to motion, go to swing or flip. You can use either one you wanna use. All right, and we're gonna click on the third one because that one look good. All right, so now for the third scene. So y'all see how fast this is? How fast we done did this? So for the third scene, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to picture in picture, go to add, and we're gonna go to the iPhone PNG that we saved from Pixar. We're gonna zoom this up, turn it, tilt it to like the side and move it over like that. I'm pretty sure that's how I did my intro. Let me take a look at it, y'all. Okay. We're gonna click on picture in picture again, click on add, and you're gonna just add like a random video of yourself. It can be any video of yourself. We can just add a video. So I guess we can use this one and I'ma zoom this up. Even though this is not the video that I used, I actually used the video of me that I used for the last scene. But like I said, you can use any video of yourself. So we're gonna use this one. And we're gonna click on the iPhone PNG and we're gonna bring it down so that it can go over our picture. So in order for something to go over it, you have to bring it underneath it, if that makes sense. So now we have that. And what we're gonna do is go click on the third scene again so that everything can start where it's supposed to start. Click on picture in picture, click on add, and we're gonna insert the other picture that you were supposed to cut out of yourself. All right, and we're gonna drag this one underneath everything so that it can come underneath everything. So about right here. 
All right, so like that. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to text. We're gonna go to add. And what I did was in all capitalizations, whatever you wanna do your Snapchat name. I'm underscore P zero P P I N G. And we're gonna bring this down. We're gonna go to style. We're gonna scroll over and I like to use this one right here because that one is kind of like better and it's standing up, standing tall. I like that font. I don't know what it's called, but that's the font that I'm using. And I go over to the little drawing thing and I go to border and I click on black and I turn this up to like number five. Then I'm gonna go over to the animation and I'm gonna click oh I'm gonna click on typewriter. Boom. All right, so let's click on the third scene again and we're gonna click on picture in picture, click on add, go to photo and we're gonna insert Snapchat to this one because this is the Snapchat scene. And make sure you drag this all the way underneath everything so that it can come underneath everything. So this is really simple y'all. If you confuse, I'm sorry, I don't know. So now we're gonna split everything so that it can be the right size. You're gonna click on the next scene, the next video, and then we're gonna click on the first video right there, click on split, click on the iPhone PNG, click on split, the other picture split, and Snapchat split. And we're gonna delete everything that's after that because you don't need nothing to pop up on that scene but what we gonna add. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on the video, Go to motion, then go to swing, then we're gonna click on the second one so that it can go up. And we're gonna do the same for the iPhone PNG. You wanna go over to motion, click on swing, and click the second one so that they can go up together. So we're gonna click on the picture of ourselves, click on motion, click on swing, and we're gonna click on the first one so that the picture of us can go down. And now we're gonna click on Snapchat, go to motion, go to flip because I think I used the flip one for this one so whichever animations or whatever you want to use you just go ahead and use that all right so for the next scene I'm going to click on picture in picture click on add go to photo and I'm going to click on the iPhone PNG click on import and I'm going to zoom this up let's move over and like right here let me see how this looked it all right so right there we're going to make this Move this over like to right here, zoom it down some, and we're gonna click on add, picture in picture, click on add. And we're gonna add another video of ourselves to this. So yeah, just use like a random video, it doesn't even matter. If it's the same video as the others, it's okay. And we're gonna bring this like right here. Try not to make the video come on the outside of the iPhone. All right, so we're gonna click on the iPhone and we're gonna bring the iPhone beneath that so that that can go above the video if that makes sense so make sure that all of this is even with each other so we're going to drag this like over here so what we're going to do is we're going to click on picture in picture click on add go to photo and we're going to go to the thing that we put our twitter in the iphone png that we put our twitter in we're going to bring this all the way down here so it can go over everything else so like right there and we're going to drag that over so that it can meet the match so like right here is perfect. And I think I tilted this over some, like right there. So that's what we do. And we're gonna go to picture in picture again, click on add, go over to photo. We're gonna go to Twitter. And drag Twitter all the way underneath so that it can come underneath everything. And I drag, I move Twitter to like right here. And then what I'm gonna do is go, make sure the video is selected so everything can start where it's supposed to start. You're gonna click on text, click on add, and we're going to add our Twitter name. Go to style, then go over to that same font. I told you that I liked it. So we're gonna move that like right here. Then I'm gonna go to the little draw thing, go to border, go to the black one. And I turned it up to five. Then I'm gonna go to animation and go to typewriter because I like the typewriter one. All right, perfect. And I also have a follow button on this part, but we're gonna add all of that when we go back into another app. So also they do have stickers on here. So that's another thing I wanted to show. So if you wanna use like this sticker right here, the follow sticker, or any one of these that are free, you can do that, but I didn't want that because you can't really do it how you want to, if that makes sense. You will see what I'm saying if you decide to use it. So what we're gonna do is go back, go to the videos that are selected, 
and we're gonna make sure we add an animation to it so go to motion go to swing and go up with this one and make sure that the videos match it go to the video go to motion go to swing go up so just add whatever animation you want to use and we're gonna go to the other one go to motion go to swing and I went to the first one so that they both can kind of go up and down and then I'm gonna go to Twitter go to motion go to flip and I just add like a little flip to it we can add that I want mine to kind of like do a little spin yeah that one so we're gonna click on the last scene and we're gonna click on the video from the previous one click on split click on the iPhone PNG click on split click on the Twitter iPhone PNG click on split click on Twitter and click on split and we're gonna delete everything after that so that it can come exactly how it's supposed to so let's see how this looks there we go there we go so everything else we're going to need to do on the other app so let's make sure we have everything that we need I actually this was kind of smaller than that I made the pretty tater big which is okay it's still cute all right, so we're done with this. We're done with it. Yes, we are done with this. So we're gonna click on export and we're gonna wait for this video to export, which won't take long at all. It only takes like seconds or whatever. So it exported. And now we're gonna go back inside of CapCut for the last parts of the video. We're gonna go to CapCut and we're gonna click on new project. We're gonna click on the video, click on add. And what we're gonna do is for the parts that we didn't have like the little follow button and the subscribe button we're gonna add that now so for this part right here we're gonna click on overlay we're gonna click on add and we're gonna go to the video that I told y'all to screen record so let me go to my intro album and for this part we're gonna need the follow button we're gonna scroll over to where it says chroma key we're gonna highlight it click on intensity and we're gonna turn it all the way up and boom we're gonna zoom this down some let's see what it looks like like that and we're gonna put it right here so what I do I don't like the sound effect in the beginning I'm gonna show you how I just kind of get rid of that All right so we want to make sure that this this go down when the video go down okay that's good no that go down too late there we go. Alright, we're gonna move this over some because that come down, that come down too early. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna go to animation because I don't like how that was. We're gonna click on out and we're gonna make this fade out. So like right here, we're gonna bring this trim it over because it go out too late. So like there we go. And it fades okay that's good so we're gonna click on this again move it over some and I'm gonna click on copy so scroll over to where you say to where you see copy we're gonna copy it and we're gonna bring this under and over right there and what we're gonna do is click on the first one and we're gonna move it over we're gonna go to adjust go to brightness turn it down and kind of hold on move it out some so we can see what it looks like so turn the brightness down go to contrast turn it okay we can turn it up saturation turn it down exposure turn it down down just turn everything down okay that's it you don't have to turn nothing else down okay we're gonna go to filters and we're gonna click on one of these filters and whichever one makes it dark let's go to retro go to B&W okay so these are the ones that make it dark so what I'm gonna do is click on okay we're gonna go to Warlock so Warlock is the darkest one and we're gonna bring this over here and kind of make it on put it underneath it y'all see what I'm y'all see what I'm doing hopefully just put it underneath it and boom kind of adds like a little effect to it I don't know it just looks better like that so now for the subscribe button make sure you delete this ending because we don't want that all right, so right here, the subscribe button should pop up. We're gonna click on the subscribe video, go to trim, and we're gonna trim it to where the video starts. So like right here, and then where the video ends, you wanna drag this little bad boy to like right there. Click on it, click on add, scroll over to crop, go to edit, click on edit, then go to crop, and then we're gonna zoom. We're gonna move this over to see where we should crop it at. 
move this up move it down click on the plus sign bring it up go back and we're going to click on chroma key highlight the green click on intensity and turn it all the way up simple there we go right in the middle and what i'm going to do is click on the video click on speed click on normal and i'm going to turn it up some okay let's try 1.9 we could do 1.9 there we go click on it go to volume and turn it down as well boom so now we have our baby <laughs> now we have our intro y'all we got our intro so i'm pretty sure y'all probably know how to add your little music or whatever to it so if you want to know how to add the music i guess i'll show you how to add the music all you have to do is go to uh youtube you want to go to um search whichever song that you want to search up search up whatever song you want to search up but the song that i have and that i use is called the girls need love mashup that's what i used for if you follow me on instagram or my graphics account then you know that i use this music but i don't i don't want to use this because i'm pretty sure that this is kind of like copyrighted y'all cannot think straight all right so this is the one that i used right here so this so this is the one that I use. So if you guys want to use this one, if you follow me on Instagram, you just wanted to know like, where do they get this little mashup song from? This is the exact same one that I use, but I'm not gonna be using this for my YouTube video. Not because of copyright reasons. I don't even think this, yes, this does have a copyright on the LMA song and the girls need love part. So no, I will not be using that part, but for like the Kaylani part, the he er girl part gino aiko how you say her name normani like you can use their parts but for the girls need love blah 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 whatever you don't want to use that because that's the one that gets copyrighted and also the lma part so do not use those two because you will get copyrighted but for the song that i use all you have to do because baby what, what am i doing i'm supposed to be showing y'all how to how to you know use that so what you want to do if you want to use whatever song on youtube that you feel comfortable with using it doesn't just have to be this one you want to click on share then you're going to click on copy link then we're going to go to safari they have this app called ytmp3.cc that's the app that you want to use to convert your music so we're going to click on where it says please insert a valid video earl you're going to tap it again click on paste and it pastes the youtube video thing you want to click on convert and you will see the name pop up if it has any errors all you have to do is just like refresh the page but you can see that there it is right there okay there we go so you want to click on download it takes you to another page hurry up and get the fuck off this page because it is a scam so you don't want to get scammed or any of that off your phone so go back to it you want to click on download and at the top right you see where it is downloading you want to click on it click on the share button and actually you do not need the files app you can do it from here and then you're going to click on CapCut, import audio to CapCut, and that is how you import the song to CapCut. All you have to do is trim it to whichever part you want to use, but I'm not using this song, so whatever. So what I do is um, I use the music on CapCut. Now, some songs on here is copyrighted, which I don't understand because it never was copyrighted. Uh, they just started adding like copyrighted tracks to this app, which is dumb to me because like, why would you do that? But the song that i use i went to audio i went to sounds now i don't even remember like which one of these i clicked on so we're gonna start off with vlog all right this is the song that i use and it's called miss you and you can find it in like the little vlog i think that's the one i clicked on so this is the one that i use and i'm gonna scroll over to right here right here and then i'm gonna split it delete the ones after that i'm gonna click on the song click on fade and i'm gonna turn the fade out duration all the way up actually no i'm gonna turn it to like right there 6.8 and now let's watch it all right so that is how i do my intro but before i stop i do not like the sound of this follow button so like Right here, I'm gonna split both of them and I'm gonna turn the volume down on both of these because I hate the sound of that. That is annoying. All right, so. Boom. Okay, wait, this one came first. So if something is overlapping something and you don't like it, all you have to do is go to layer and go on the first one so it can go on top because that was ugly. There we go. Boom. So I know a lot of people, um, 
want like the little click sound effect because y'all love the click sound effect they also have this click sound effects that you can find on YouTube the click sound effect and the bell sound effect exactly how I showed you how to download the music you can also download the sound effects just like that and insert it into CapCut just like that that is very simple or you can go to the sound effect that they have on CapCut all you have to do is go to audio then go to effects then scroll over to mechanical and then you will see this mouse click sound effect now this app updates so much they have many more sound effects like click sound effects on here but for some reason I can't find it anymore because it's a dumb app download it for some odd reason so you better hurry up and use this before this one is gone too or you can do what I showed you so like right here make sure it is on point because it's not on point there we go and then we're gonna copy this and move it over to the little bell sound effect there we go and then you can download a, a bell sound effect I'm gonna go to my files and I think it is called ding sound effect you can find that on on uh, YouTube for free obviously there we go or you can use another bell sound effect I'm gonna import the audio to CapCut all right so the ding sound effect we're gonna move this over there we go and then you save it and then boom you got your intro so that completes the end of this video y'all um the best you can do the least you can do is subscribe to my channel watch my other videos as well because i know this one gonna blow up my intro videos always blow up so if you're kind enough please subscribe and like this video and you don't have to leave a comment down below if you don't want to but yeah like i'm very talented i'm a very good person to watch so go watch my channel watch other videos as well because i'm a very good person so that's the least you can do thank you i will see you on the next video peace